and, and we were all like um, we were talking. About, I mean, we, we were. I mean, I mean, the whole thesis was this idea of Bitcoin 2.0, right? Yeah. Remember that time, right? Yeah. So we made we the first. We, uh, we made the first videos about investing in Ethereum way back before everyone even. Hell, we interviewed Vitalik. Yeah, we interviewed Vitalik, but that was already March of 2014. Yeah. Right, yeah. we were yeah. already talking about it in like NXT and the whole idea of Bitcoin 2.0, and and you can look at our videos. Like when we first mentioned, look at your videos, right? When did you yeah. first mention Ethereum? I think it was back in uh, the, the. I think it was it was it was like the first video was about NXT, right? Yeah, for like two and a half. Plus years already, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we were already talking about that, the, the whole concept of, uh, you know, of of, uh, of Bitcoin 2.0, and how we could build applications. And at that That's point awesome. in time, we, we were still talking about like features, right? We were talking about like features of of. Uh, remember that whole thing about the Turing complete, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just looking at your videos, and I'm. I'm trying to just see like. Uh, are you having? Uh, 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 are you having like flashbacks? Are you having? Uh, what do they call that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> well, we we were we were already discussing like NXT really came up with like the idea of of uh, Bitcoin 2.0. That was already an idea that Mastercoin uh, introduced. Yeah. Right. Um, and this idea about well, what what can Bitcoin do? Uh, you know, we we had we made this video in March about like Ethereum versus Bitcoin versus NXT. Yeah, and that was that was kind of our first video of, about Ethereum, right? Okay, and that was um, back in March, right? We we made it in March, but we but the video about this whole idea of Bitcoin 2.0 was. NXT. Remember, we did that yeah. video. That was in December of 2013, and NXT launched, I think, in August of 2013 or something like that, right? Yeah. Right. So we 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 no we no no the, 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 no no the NXT launched in um, December. December. It launched in December, but the ICO was, I think, in August or something like that. Oh yeah yeah in August or October or something like that. It's earlier. Yeah that yeah year. something. It was earlier, a little bit earlier that year. Like we missed it, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but we, we, but it, but you know, we all through the end of 2013, we were, um, um, we were talking about like what kind of like what can, can we build applications on top of the blockchain, and we were still trying to think about how we could bolt on like features onto Bitcoin. Right, mm -hmm. um, and we were all still thinking about like, you know, NXTs, and and we were talking about like, well, let's build this feature, and let's build, uh, you know, it was at the height of Mount Gox, right? Remember that? Yeah, Kai? yeah. We were talking about Mount Gox and how maybe we could build this coin that could have a built-in decentralized exchange, so you know, nothing, you know, like another Mount Gox couldn't happen again, right? Yeah. Um, so we were all thinking about these features like, uh, you know, name, naming, and messaging, and, and how we could do all these things on the blockchain, right? Then Vitalik comes along and and says, hey, why don't we build, like, this Turing Complete? Remember that was all the rage back then? Yeah. About this this Turing Complete uh, scripting language, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, that ICO, uh, that crowdfund was scheduled in January, Okay. Mm -hmm. And I remember that because one of my friends was buying all these bitcoins at eight, seven hundred, eight hundred, you know, because he wanted to get into this whole Ethereum, right? Yeah. And uh, and then remember they delayed it, right? Yeah. Like they, they they were supposed to run the crowd sale in I think January, and that got pushed back to July of 2014. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So by by March. When we made that video by March and we interviewed Vitalik, they already had a test net, right? They've already had done the proof of concept. They've already had done, like, they, they had this, like, beta or alpha code running and where, like, you could, they had, like, this test net running 
where you could actually write contracts and have it execute, but you know it was just a test net. It wasn't going to launch like it. It was all just make believe, right? Because they were going to just reset the network, um, you know, after as they were developing it, right? Um, but they already had that, and like they, I think Ethereum was launched in was announced uh, introduced in at the North American Bitcoin conference in Miami, right? Yeah, I think that that's that's when they that was the first uh uh public announcement, right? And that was in I think December and they were supposed to hold the crowd sale in January, they didn't do that and what they did was they went on tour instead. Right? They went to all the Bitcoin conferences. Vitalik and his crew went to all the Bitcoin conferences and started like doing basically giving interviews, promoting it, basically what we saw him do at the Texas Bitcoin conference in Austin. Right? Yeah. That was in, that was in, so he spent almost a whole year uh, on tour, right? Working yeah. at conferences. Uh, that's one of the things he did. Yeah, that um, was a uh, smart move because uh, he uh, educated the public on it and he also put a face onto Ethereum. Yeah. Which yeah, is, him, which his, is what the yeah. problem was with uh, uh, NXT. Um, you know, and we tried to put a face onto NXT with us at the Texas Bitcoin conference, but that didn't, you know, uh, have the same effect, you know, because we only went to one conference. Yeah, yeah, he did it. He was on tour, like, all... All the major conferences, yeah. All the major conferences. He went to all of them, him and his crew, right? Him and his team. Yeah. Uh, They had uh, Stefan Tual, who was the CCO, I think, which stands for Chief Communications Officer, right? Uh, yeah. So he he was responsible for writing the blogs and communicating to the public on Reddit and all, all that stuff, right? Um, and so it was really the Ethereum didn't launch until July, right, Ty? Remember over the summer? Yeah. We would say, hey, it just launched. And, uh, you know, Kraken started, Kraken was the first uh, uh, exchange to make a market, right? Uh, and I think so. I think, I think it was, was it Kraken? I think it was Kraken to make was was the first to open their order book. And Poloniex came later. It's possible. I mean, it happens uh, so close together that we really can't say. It really doesn't not make that. Big I, it difference. really doesn't matter. But I, I remember yeah. it was Kraken. Okay. I remember it was Kraken that made the first market. Right. That actually made the first trade. Right. Okay. It, 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 I think it opened at like three dollars or something like that, and then it crashed. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, and then it it stuck around between eighty cents to a dollar for most of the summer. Right. Yeah. And uh, and it was pretty. It was pretty. Uh, I mean, I mean, the move didn't really start until December. This move that we're in right now. Yeah. Right. Um, I see. I see. So so that's the timeline, David. As far as. Uh, our history with Ethereum. So it, this wasn't the only shot I made. I mean, I, I mean, Ty and I, we, we took a shot at NXT. We took a shot at Ethereum. And I took a shot at MasterCoin. Uh, well, I took we, a we actually made, on Counterparty. We, we yeah. actually made good money on uh, NXT. It's just that we did not take profits. We did not take profits. Yeah, yeah because, we I mean, like, yeah. if, if uh, you got in at the uh, beginning, uh, you would have still made, you know... Um, at least uh, four or five x or more. Yeah, yeah, we were at four or five x. Yeah, it was, yeah. So it's not like it. it yeah, right? it's just that we just we were not in a rush to take the money out. And, yeah. Right. So. Yeah, and and then plus I I was always I had this idea all through 2013 about like you know because I I have this belief that um, these digital assets, let's call them, or cryptographically based digital assets, decentralized digital, that it's going to go into the trillions eventually, you know, within the right. next decade or two. And so I'm, the, the key between now and then is picking the right one, right? It's get, getting in something, right? Yeah. Getting even a small a piece of, of something that becomes like, the next Facebook of cryptocurrencies. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. right. Like, this is like this is like billions now. So yeah, this yeah. is like the the, the dot com <laughs> boom all over again. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And and I didn't just buy Ethereum and Mastercoin and NXT. I, I bought like 
dozens of these things. I mean, I, with, the, with the understanding that most of these are, are going to be crap, I mean, that most of these were crap, right? Yeah. Um, I, I, I didn't. I, I literally bet, like, I, I took like ten percent of my bitcoins and just bought dozens of different like quarks and world coins. You know, all this crap, like one or two bitcoins each. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh-huh. And with the, with knowing that I'm gonna, I was probably gonna lose the money, right? Um, okay. Because I knew that the one I did hit was going to be so huge, and I just didn't know which one it was going to be, right? Um, but yeah, that that's to answer your question. That's the history of Ethereum right. and how long we had to wait. So it was a almost three years. We were kind of in this mode of searching for a Bitcoin successor, you know? 